The refugee-laden boats nudge through the choppy waters as the storm blows in, fugitives crossing the Mediterranean in search of asylum. Hungry, exhausted, and fearful, they have been separated from loved ones, or have buried them on the journey with hasty makeshift rites. The dream of a new land has kept them going through the tense wait on the beach for good weather, and the threatening presence of ragged strangers speaking their enemy's tongue. They have been warned that navigation will be difficult, and that passing through the narrow strait is dangerous if not impossible. Now, as thunder crashes, the bow of the lead vessel yaws sharply in the swell, and the helmsman breaks his oar. Helpless, they slide toward shoals rising from the foam like monstrous spines. The boat spins three times, shipping water and casting men and belongings into the roiling waves. The small fleet strains to make landfall, prows thudding over breakers. Through the lashing rain the men see a cove where they can go ashore, a stretch of calm water between the vast cliffs whose tops bristle with trees. Trojans, ecstatic with joy at regaining the dry land, leap from the ships and establish themselves on the sand-covered coastline. So opens Virgil's great epic, the Aeneid, completed in 19 BCE. The poem recounts the legendary tale of Aeneas and his companions fleeing the ruins of Troy and arriving in Italy, after shipwrecks and other mishaps, to become the ancestors of the Romans. Virgil's descriptions of storm-tossed refugees washing ashore on the north coast of Africa eerily presages the European migrant crisis that witnessed hundreds of thousands of refugees from Africa and the Middle East launching inflatable dinghies and other ramshackle craft into the Mediterranean in search of a new life in Europe. Italy was a natural destination, given the proximity to Libya and Tunisia at its southernmost border, and the islands of Sicily and Lampedusa. In 2015, more than 150,000 migrants arrived on Italian shores, with almost 3,000 more dying en route in shipwrecks and drownings. A year later, more than 180,000 arrived on boats from across the Mediterranean. The social, political, economic and cultural effects of the crisis on Italy still remain to be determined. However, the country's most powerful myth of its origins involves, as Virgil shows, migrants from a war-torn land arriving on Italian shores and becoming, thanks to Aeneas's illustrious descendants, the masters of all in existence, that is, that people in togas, as Virgil proudly describes them. The mastery of the Romans is difficult to overestimate. First, under the Republic, then, during the Imperial period, taken together, a span of almost a thousand years, the Romans were to make the Italian peninsula one of the world's greatest and most influential centres of political and cultural activity.